What's up folks, it's Dan here from VagameCharacter.com where we turn games into games and today I want to talk about uh, how to properly set yourself up for success. Uh, this comes from a little conversation that we had over in uh, RPG Fit Group, which I'm sure you're a part of, right? RPG Fit Group over on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, you're an RPG Fit Group. Sure you are. Um, but anyway, uh, we were doing a New Year's resolution checkup, our first of the year. And uh, someone commented, said uh, about how they were doing, said not what I wanted, about what I expected, been trying to do something to work towards my goals every day, even if it's not everything I wanted slash set out to do that day. As long as I keep my goals in mind, I'll keep checking, chipping away at it. I'm really projecting changing over the course and as an end result of the year, some of the sub-optimized days in the beginning don't bother me too much. <laughs> to which I responded, sub-optimized daily effort is so much better than what the vast majority of the human race does. You're going to make fantastic progress this year as long as you don't allow perfect to be the enemy of good enough. Now, I want to show you something here. Um, I've talked about my processes of productivity before, and one of them is uh, checklists, just little daily checklists like that. Um, you can see here. So that was yesterday's checklist. Um, and I've talked before about uh, um, productivity chains and, and dopamine, all that good stuff. You, you can go find the videos and blog posts. Um, I'll link them at the end. But basically, if you look at this list, if you look at it again, here, I'll hold it up again. Almost half of the stuff that I have on there is not crossed off. And that's like, that's every day for me. Like, let's scoot back to, we'll go all the way back to, uh, we can go back a month. Look at last month. All right. That one was a little more successful, but still plenty of stuff that's not crossed off. Uh, let's find a bad day. Do I have a bad day in here? Um... Oh, here was a day. Here was a particularly bad day. I remember this day specifically. Um, priorities, headbands, boss battles, ultramine, tire rack, and deposit check. Um, I remember this day specifically because the only thing that I actually got done, I didn't even cross it off, was deposit that check. I didn't finish anything else that I set out to do. But I deposited the check. So, I can look back at these lists. Like, if I look back at yesterday's, like, things that I missed doing... Uh, list PlayStation 1 stuff, uh, work on Walk in the Woods, um, cardio. Uh, and I can look at these things that I was supposed to do that I didn't get to, and I can see how I could have done them. I can look back in hindsight and say, well, if I hadn't spent, you know, half an hour checking out cool fight scenes on YouTube at night, I probably would have had time to work on Walk in the Woods when I still had a little brain juice left to work on it. Or, um, if, you know, I had... Uh, spent my morning time a little better if I hadn't sat in my armchair drinking coffee and reading webcomics for half an hour. I probably could have had time to start listing some of the PlayStation 1 stuff on eBay. Like, I can look at this list and say, well, here's ways that I could have fixed this. And I can dwell on that. And it's very bad to do so. I can get toxic with myself about it and start, like, really berating myself about it. But the fact is, none of my days... Basically, none of my days, like looking back through my notebook here, I can't find a single day where I actually completed everything that I set out to do. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm looking through here, and there is not a single day where I have finished everything on my checklist. And the reason why I'm going through is just to illustrate the point that I have been jamming on self-improvement and self-change for the better part of three years. Like... Partially my whole life, yes, but doing stuff like this, like checklists, notebooks, really trying to optimize things, only for the better part of like three years. And I still do not have any fully optimized days. I know what I'm capable of doing. I could do everything on every list that I set out for myself every single day, but I'm only human. I make mistakes. I spend too much time on things. Sometimes I need more leisure time than I expect. Sometimes I take more leisure time than I need. I misschedule things. I do things at the wrong time or in the wrong order. Things that I overestimated on the time they take versus underestimated, stuff like that. And it's really easy to get down on yourself about this all the time. And the fact is, it's self-defeating. The number of people on this planet that do this, that make an effort to change themselves for the better, infinitesimally small versus like the general public. The number of people that stick with it, even smaller. If you're doing one 
thing to improve yourself as a human being every single day, just one thing to improve yourself, even every other day, you are still ahead of the game. Too many people get hung up on the perfect day. They get hung up on, I'm going to wake up and do all of my chores. Then I'm going to do all of the things I need to do. Then I'm going to do all my homework. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to have the best day ever at work. I'm going to get everything done while I'm there. I'm going to come home and I'm going to spend three hours reading, but you only spend half an hour reading because you get bored or tired of the book that you're reading. Like, people obsess on the perfect way too much. The fact is, if you can accept good enough, you will be amazed at the progress that you make over time. The problem is, if you get hung up on perfect, you will eventually stop. Perfect is the enemy of good. If you spend too much time shooting for perfect, you will never even reach good, just because setting yourself up for perfect is setting yourself up for failure. If it's the only thing that you pursue in life, that's it. You've already lost. Do not let perfect be the enemy of good. Now, this is not to say that you won't have what you call perfect days. I might have a day when I finish all the things on my checklist. That would be really amazing. But I don't expect every day to be like that. I don't expect any day to be like that. If it happens, that's really cool. If it doesn't happen and I just get through half my list, guess what? The other half just goes on the next day. And that's the way that it works. Just one after the other after the other. So if you're trying to get in better shape and you are working out every day, and then one day you feel like, oh my God, I really don't want to work out today. Make yourself do 10 push-ups, and then say that's good enough and be done. Seriously. If you are working hard and improving your diet, and you're trying really hard to eat well, eat better, you know, no more fast food if you can avoid it, hit your macro goals, hit your calorie goals, everything in moderation, all that good stuff, and then you have one day where you're like, oh my God, I just really need a Baconator. And you hold off, you hold off, you hold off, and then you cave and you get that Baconator. Say, okay, well, yesterday I didn't do this, the day before that I didn't do this, and tomorrow I'm not going to do this. One day that I do this, that's good enough. Good enough, as long as you're continually doing good enough, will always be better than perfect. If I have one perfect day, and then 19 days where I get nothing done, versus if I have... 19 really crappy days where I get a little bit done, at the end of those 20 days, I'm going to make more progress than I did in that one perfect day. Perfect is the enemy of good, and what you want to strive for is good enough every single day, because that's the way that you make progress. Some idealized version of, you know, superhuman discipline or whatever is kind of silly to shoot for. Like, you, you are setting yourself up for failure when you do that. What you want to do is figure out how to accept I've done enough good today and I will do more good tomorrow. So that was it. Just a little bit from me to you for today. I wanted to let you give you a little insight as to what's going on. Um, also, please make sure you hop into RPG Fit Group. Seriously, we are doing great things in there. More and more people joining every day. Uh, we've got uh, workout blogs going, we've got accountability blogs going, we've got nutrition posts, we've got people talking about stuff that they're making, things that they're doing, uh, you know, somebody's joining a triathlon, somebody is, you know, getting into shape for the first time in their life, several somebody's actually, um, there are people that are doubling down on what they've been doing before and getting stronger than they have, come join us in RPG Fit Group, we have great discussions, we have great stuff going on, we cheer each other on, it's a really cool environment, so if you're on Facebook, all it is is facebook.com slash groups slash RPG Fit Group. You can also find a link from the BA Game Character Facebook page, which I'm sure you already, you know, liked and following, but whatever. So, thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.